Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to a beautiful new day, a new week in Barbados. Um, welcome to Graham Hall Swamp. We are just in the above section of it. It's a beautiful, peaceful morning. I'm sure you've enjoyed the natural sounds of out here, except for probably me, uh, almost kicking, and also me dying of hysteria. Um, it is funny, funny, funny what's going on out here. I wish I could have shown you some behind the scenes action, but imagine bringing a Westie into a swamp. I don't have to tell you much more. You can pay your picture. <laughs> God, excuse me, but he's shaking his head and he battled off of all the bugs and stuff over here. It's so comical. I'm having an amazing morning. <laughs> nothing comical about it. She says there's nothing comical about it. Just because I'm far away, I'll let you know. Anyhow, we've decided to bring you to Graham Hall Swamp this morning. Start off the morning with a little nature that some people may not be aware of. Unfortunately, we actually couldn't get into the swamp area where it's been sort of like semi-commercialized um, with what was originally the Graham Hall Bird Sanctuary. Um, however, we are starting the above section here and we can just walk our way through uh, Worthing to show you what this area is like. We had done so a couple of times before, but we can do a landside view of Worthing today. So, you know, just swing you back around here and we can start off and say our serenity prayer as we like to do. Um, hopefully you'll be able to join us. It's a prayer for peace and guidance and comfort and direction for me. Hopefully you will find some use for it as well. Hopefully you understand it. Uh, and then it will make life a lot easier for you. You're only responsible for yourself, not for anyone else. Remember, you can always give, you can always love, you can always care for. Um, if you only do so and others want you to do so, you have no freedom whatsoever. You must do it whenever you feel it in your heart. Share what you feel in your heart. Do not be restricted by others. Be yourself. Do not be what someone else wants of you because then you're not yourself. Then you're not living your true path. You're not living your true light. And therefore, all you are is a fake. Do not be a fake today because someone will be happy if you're that way. Be yourself. Let them see that you're confident of who you are. You know your direction that you're going in. And let them know they're, you know, you're willing to have them join you. However, um, if they pull you back, well, you all know what to do quite well. Remember, there are always those out there that want your companionship and your love and care. So for everyone that doesn't want it, there are many, many more waiting for that. And I'm just praying that someone will come along and give them a little peace and happiness and walk with them as well. So be that person today if you can be. Okay, we're going to say that prayer now. All others um, that do not want to participate in it, we'll be back to you in a couple of seconds. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. The peace and serenity that you are experiencing right now is going to change a lot in the next hour or two when the traffic starts to come down Highway 7. As you all know, that's one of our busiest roads in Barbados. That's just a few hundred meters from here. Um, so out here is going to transform a little bit with the noise element and the unnatural sounds that you would not hear in a swamp. However, this morning we're going to take our little stroll down. As I said, we're going to show you a little bit of the swamp land. This is the um, type of lovely mangrove trees that grow in here, etc. Uh, many of you may remember years ago, this was the Graham Hall Bird Sanctuary, just to be on here, had a huge bird aviary. Um, had all types of beautiful restaurants and stuff in here, beautiful facility. However, um, not only did it sort of slow down a little bit before, however, when you had the big sewage problem in Barbados, um, we actually utilized the swamp here to help us with a lot of the um, off, I say off floor, outflow of sewage and stuff, which is um, hopefully going to be processed and cleaned up in here properly in return to the um, Barbadian public again so that we can enjoy this beautiful swamp. I remember years ago coming in here with a guy called Paul and Mario to do some fishing. Um, we had many a pint and a half with us and we didn't catch anything but trust me that night will not be forgotten or those nights will not be forgotten because we had such a good time. Kitchen, uh, fishing does not have to catch a fish. 
it just means you go out there and enjoy yourself and relax and, and with a couple of pint and halves as our good good friend Simon can tell you can make you enjoy a bad time so, <laughs> muscular bites and all so this morning I was tell actually let me let you say hi to our co-star here good morning it was obviously our star girl as you all have renamed her but I still call her co-star sometimes co-star or star girl still means she's second to the star so it doesn't make any difference what the promotion that she and her faults committee have given but good morning to each and everyone difference what you say. I, I know that very well already you're already determined anyhow just to let you know what happened this morning I want you to see my face and my sincerity first and then we go back to her being very serious and being very real about it there are no lies whatsoever being told here yeah. this is the truth and the actual <laughs> truth here we go all right so this morning I said to her well I'm gonna have to put on some mosquito repellent on you this morning because I'm going to be going somewhere that we're going to have some mosquitoes. First thing she said to me is, we going to West Coast again? I did not say that. That's a big fat lie. <laughs> so, I had to tell her, no, we're actually going to, we're going to sort of like fabricate the West Coast on the south this morning. And then I, and then I said to her, don't worry, we're not going to be going by the, uh, be going by the um, mosquitoes tomorrow. Today is the only day we're going to encounter mosquitoes. And words out of her mouth, exact words out of her mouth, oh, goody, goody. So we're going to be on the south tomorrow. So there you go. That's straight out of her mouth. What? Lie after lie after lie after lie. Oh, yes. I, I asked, Are we going to the beach? Do I need my bathing suit? He says, Get ready for mosquitoes. How do you get ready for mosquitoes? <laughs> Just okay. for mosquitoes, he said. As you can see, she, she saw her like not really dressed. So I had to actually coat her with some, some uh, not repellent, but some very strong medi um, massaging oils, which I have an array of. Um, so we caught her down this morning, and no mosquitoes have been in her. I don't know if you all heard Just me. You. Yeah, I know if you all heard me almost kicking this morning, as I said, um, I was there laughing at her so bad, falling off, the little bugs and stuff all around, that um, I, I actually swallowed a fly. So I had to sort of like run from the microphone and go a little backwards just to see. But here we go, some I mean, nature of the swamp. It's beautiful. Just behind here is where all of the facilities like the coffee shop and stuff were all being blocked off the public at the moment. Hopefully this will be reopened one more time, hopefully. I hear people saying that's out of my mouth. I just told you, of course, it's out of my mouth. I told you what she said. It can't be out of her mouth if I am telling you what she said. But that's what she said, honestly. I was saying to her, look, we have little ducks in the swamp. She said, oh, in other words, yeah, I know. We have them back in the States. All of the ducks are everywhere of all different sizes and features and, and breeds, etc. So, But for me, that is a big thing to see the swamp birds out here. It's absolutely beautiful. Both sides here swamp. I remember running through here in my teen years. With some fellas, I'll call some names out, Douglas and Billy. I'm sure you all may be on this morning, or I know your family are on. But we used to run through this swamp all the time until one day I almost drowned out here, actually. I ran across to show them how we could run across a marshy area. Went down to my neck, and if it wasn't for being perched on the edge of a rock, I would have sunk right into the mud. They had to actually pulled me out. That was a horrifying experience. But that's the day that I can't be, um, turned into an Olympic swimmer. And um, uh, I would say the fittest man in the world, because they said that will never happen to me again. So I, I took up all of the necessary tools and exercises that were um, being available at that time and became the most amazing human being in this world. So I, I can't walk on water, but I can certainly swim on any kind of water. So I got that all under cover now. Good morning. Good morning. Are you feeling better now? We've gone to swamp a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I noticed that when we were going up here, you were asking where was I taking you into this jungle? You didn't I did, enjoy that? I did. Oh, you did? No, I didn't enjoy it. You didn't, didn't enjoy it? Isn't this beautiful? Me. Yep. <laughs> okay. We'll go off her for a little time. Swamp or go because, to the swamp? Yeah, because she's still still enjoying um, her argument arguments there with me this morning. It's been a challenging morning. Morning, brother. Are you good? Morning, my friend. All right, my man. Nice, man. Nice to see you. My respect. Okay. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Only a few lilies in that actually clean this entire canal here. We're coming into the rainy season, as you would know, which we call our hurricane season. Um, so a lot of the drainage area, if you're driving along the spring yard and you've seen some big backhoes out there working to clear out the actual drainage. Likewise, they've done the same thing here. They've moved a lot of lilies that were in here um, that might have restricted the flow of water. However, the build up of sand on the other side of this, um, this actual bridged area, you will see in a moment, is the main challenge. We had some rain the other day. Um, not a lot of rain, just a little rain. You see water around. Everything is looking a little greener than it was the last times that we were in these general areas. Um, however, we really haven't had the intense rain that we're hoping to have. Just so you would see a little bit of the sewer system that we have been talking about. The pipes that lead out way off of the outside reef of St. Lawrence Reef. The St. Lawrence Lagoon Reef. These are the pipes that go across the beach. So if you're walking on the beach, you'll see where it comes from. There's a sewage processing plant up in this general area here. 
and then all the processed stuff is shipped out to sea way beyond the currents and stuff and go off. It's a very similar operation that's done down by Needham's Point by the Hilton as well. They have a similar pipe that runs way out into the ocean as well. Again, processed sewage, not raw sewage. Beautiful morning, very quiet on Highway 7 as you can appreciate. Um, I'm happy for that because we can run across the other side of the uh, road. Remember we had talked about here many times, bike shot house is what it looks like from the other side. What you see bike shot house are bananas, some people knew that as the later stages. However, this is a beautiful condo that's being built right here on the actual beach area. It's a beautiful morning, we can take a quick cross there, hold on. We got a few, we have a few that are. Respect man, respect, nice man. You wanna shout it? You wanna shout out people? Alright, nice. Musical tunes for you then, that's all we do it, that's how we do it, real Barbados. So here the pipes go again as we talked about. These run out by the sleuth gate. We're just gonna take you back here a section of the little sleuth gate. We're not doing the beach side of it this morning, so don't worry about that. We're gonna be staying on the road section with all the noise and things which we want. So there's the sleuth gate here. Um, years gone by, they used to actually have a wooden bridge, a semi-wooden bridge, just a huge plank of Purple Heart. We used to run across it into a caboose. You saw it to be here, one of the original train cabooses. I remember running through that and also across the top of that when I was a young fella. Um, this little gate was designed to let the water out of these swamps so it doesn't actually flood the areas that we Massey, um, which is down Rendezvous and the other surrounding homes. Um, if they don't have the escape for the water, um, the water will actually flood all of the Worthing area. You may have seen that in the past as well. Um, this is, it was full of fish at one time when I was a little fella. We used to fish tilapia in here. They still have terrapin or I'm not sure if they do right now, but they had some big terrapin in the actual swamp area. We used to also catch our fantails and mollies out here in Little Nets. I'm sure a lot of people are on board here. Um, we remember those days, I know a lot of people used to do that. Go home and stock our aquarium off with the actual fish that we had got in this area. All right, a little bit um, on the tight side here, so just gonna take our time going down. Not because of me, um, because of, of course, our co-star, our star girl, who I have to take care of this morning. Billy, if you're on board, Billy Allen, passing your home, my brother. I'm not even sure if you're still here. Um, good morning to you and your family. If you're in Barbados, hopefully I'll see you soon. If you're not here, hopefully you'll be back soon that I can see you. Jeez, you all imagine that? I just reversed that sentence and made two completely different meanings. That is the, the gifts and the arts of being a, a very intellectual person like myself, of course. National Translation is the initiative or transformation initiative is just over on the other side of the road. And then we have Mix 6, which has become one of the most popular sports bars on the south coast um, when, or when there's any sporting game going on especially cricket or soccer you'll find this entire car park um, we're in car park full of cars and all the side streets as well it's very 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 popular seahorse divers any distance there my buddy but notice how I'm waving at you all saying good morning and as you all know this is where the Worthing Beach all is this is the best beach in the world just beyond there don't mind the skip at least there's a skip where we move our garbage and move it from there you can get your seafood if you like out there um, you also have your washroom facilities, lots of Wi-Fi facilities as well, everything that you may want. I can see if I can catch him for a minute and see if I can put him on film. Good morning. Don't go anywhere, man. Slow it down. We coming for you. I want you to introduce yourself and say hi to everybody this morning. Let them know what activities you conduct and stuff, man. Scuba diving. Good morning. Right. Good morning. I'm David Hudson. Yeah, David. I want to see horse divers. Right. And we're doing some lovely dives today. Yeah, how's the visibility out there and stuff? Um, last week was excellent. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I, we noticed some of that in Carlisle Bay as well. Last yeah. week we did a catamaran cruise. It was like visibility was incredible. Yeah, I see you on the catamaran. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have you have a big group out today, or yeah, what? Yeah, I got five today. Five nice five. man. And you, so just get in contact. You're going to show them your logo on the side and telephone number. Now they can contact you anytime they want to dive. You can give them. And Nick must come diving too. Man, we know I haven't done for a long time, but I don't know if I can hold my breath that long anymore. <laughs> that was really nice. Thanks. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I know. Thanks for your thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you see see horse divers if you want. This is the contact number, you can get in contact with him. I've known this guy for a long, long time. Um, obviously not that long, because I'm only 52 and he's a little bit younger than me, so. Same we, age. Yeah, yeah, same age, 52 as well? Yeah. Awesome, uh, yeah, you, you, look, you look a lot older than me, but I didn't really want to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's calling us liars, you hear that though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyhow, you, you can take out a pinch of salt. This is this is our co-star, AKA Stargirl. This is Jeanette. I think you, Hi, Jeanette, I don't know if you've met Jeanette yet. Nope. So, right, well, this is the opportunity to meet probably the second. Yeah, second, <laughs> second biggest liar in Barbados, the biggest liar being Nicole who conducts our Saturday vlogs. But she's really, really bad and she tricks everyone with her sweetness and her charm. 
um, into believing in what she's saying. My brother, you have a great day, and I hope you have a fantastic Enjoy. dive. You don't need any spare fishing out there, though, or are you just going for your dive itself? I just go for pleasure. You still get the barracudas running reef out there? Not no, Graham Hall shallows don't have as much as before either. Oh, they changed a lot. Wow, I gotta go back out. I haven't been out there for about 30 years. Yeah. yeah. So I will give you a shout soon. As soon as she come, as soon as she comes out of house, Araska, I think I'm gonna have to put her back in house arrest because she's not behaving so well. <laughs> um, we will come out and take a dive with you. Huh? No problem. All right, my brother. Thanks very much, man. You take care, right? All right. Take all right. Care, so I'll see horse all divers. Right. He has a great boat up there. I don't know if you all have seen it, but an actually designed dive boat. It's really, really nice. Excellent facilities and stuff. All right. So you said before, this is mix six, mix six, mix. I don't know which way it is. Said I see a sign up there, and it can be determined in either one. So yes, if you're late, you can come here and enjoy some of their sporting uh, activities and stuff. They have a lot of big screens in here. Uh, I'm, I, I've seen big parties here as well, like time parties and functions going on. And you all know Set Set, Set Set's place here. If you're interested in doing some accommodations and stuff, Set Set has been here for many, many years. Many of you all have probably known him before, Maryville. This is Maryville Guest House. Um, this is a place you can come and feel at home, away from home. Uh, no set set for a long time offers nothing but great great service again as well nice guy as well gentlemen okay that was or is the entrance to the Graham Hall nature sanctuary or the bird park as I mentioned before you have a lot of birds and stuff but it's actually a nature sanctuary as you can see it is not open and that's not because of the time of morning is because they're just not open to the public at the moment so the relates to Barbados government you may also remember if you had been here many years ago there was a very old home here that has some absolutely beautiful design would work around the frame of it that is gone as well so if you haven't been here since covid has come along you will see a lot of changes on this route you would remember john tempro um that is where he used to live unfortunately john passed a little while ago as well lots and lots of history here for me in barbados a lot of friends a lot of past memories and stuff you want some chinese food guangdong i know if jackie's on board our sister from the east she will most definitely be telling you about the food restaurants in this area Jackie, if you've not already done so, please hark in and give some information. This is one of the areas that we like to go down to Worthing Beach as well. You can get parking here, limited again. Um, you would have seen the changes of that. We'll take you back there one of these days. Now, Cheryl, our head cheerleader, aka the cook, not the chef. A chef is a man or a person that knows how to cook. A cook is a person that talks about it, and that would be Cheryl, of course. She would be telling us, go to all these different places to have ice cream. She's now sent us to, uh, to send us a whole town on a to a closed location, and she sent us to Mont Rose. We're gonna try out that one there, and then I guess this is another place she'll send us because I see that's closed as well. I don't know if they're open right now. Nelson Arms Two used to be located here just a little while ago, pool hall and bar. Um, as you can see, it's called Vape and Smoke Thingies, and they also have pool tables and stuff inside, and they also have uh, great bar facilities if you're interested. If you like um, doubles, you can get doubles out here on occasions as well. This is the entrance to where you go down to the Carib Beach Bar. Just to give you a sort of like a location on the land side of where if you were on the beach. The Carib is just down at the end here, over to the right. Last structure, you will see it very, very, very easy to see and find. Numerous changes around here. Joy Pugsy will tell you some stories about her family that you saw in homes in this general area. A lot of our family um, were from the south coast of the island. A lot of them were in these what were originally the beach homes. Um, all the property that we've just passed through or walked through is the Queensland, which means it belongs to the government now. Um, it was called Queensland, it's now the government of Barbados, so it's leased and not actually purchased. Um, so you can also find out as well. And you can get like 99 year leases and renew them quite easily, but they do have um, the rights to the actual land itself. You can also find out more about that later on. Again, Crystal Waters, another famous landmark just on the end here on the right hand side all this area we're just trying to point out the entrances to because this is very small roads a lot of people come to barbados and say how do you get to crystal waters how do you get to carib don't know where the gap is they say oh it's, it's just opposite what you see star discount and people say star discount we're talking about yeah there was a place called star discount out here um there was also originally it was the goddard supermarket that was located over here as well it's on this side um, originally it was Goddard Supermarket, then turned into Star Discount, and then it's been through numerous different uh, mall stuff. Well, I could tell you if you would like. And this is just because we like to offer you with the information about it. Let's just be in here as a gentleman's club. Uh, you can go in there and smoke your cigars if you like and drink your brandy. Up to you, but um, that's a gentleman's club just behind there. You can find them open most nights. Little Caesar, something that's very new to the island. 
not too long has that been here just, sort of, just after the covid kind of time when we started open back up that open so it says relatively new and you can see you can go over there and do some one arm bandit pulling some slot machines and stuff you can see different facilities are offered over there we're walking directly behind where i am was the scotia bank at one time this is when sandy beach was first built sandy beach hotel it is now turned into clifton market there is another outlet of clifton market on the west coast in Langrove. Um, but this is where you can get it if you're on the south side of the island this is clifton market great meats great products a lot of the very diverse um, products in here so if you think that you can't find something in barbados i recommend you take a trip to clifton market because they will more likely have what you will not find in some of the other stores as well and the all not only the items but the brands as well so come and check them out if you can sorry yeah the whole town as well line grove correct so you see they start on the west on the best coast and then they'll spread their love to the west coast so we understand that best is the south and now we're spreading it over the west we're just taking you through here let you see the sands the entrance to the sands we're not gonna stop too long in this section because they said we're staying on the highway today this is sands hotel all-inclusive sister hotel on the west coast known as mango bay we saw that yesterday in one of our little teasers also Kama beach club which is also owned by the same um, family as well the odal family but it's the sands very similar to what it would have looked like years ago when sandy beach was first built here sandy beach went through all types of renovation and changes but the footprint very similar they have expanded some rooms and stuff on the other side as you will see and also some of the decks and the terraces are being enhanced um generally same footprint um same kind of um c shape on the above side the east and then across the north side and then on the west and you can always have a look at that if you'd like online or you can go on to our youtube channel and put in the sands or worthing beach you will probably see something in there that will help you out with some information on the opposite side my buddies mike good morning mike to you and uh, this is he called material things it's now called beauty on the beach he also has an outlet in whole town as well uh, right where there used to be the barbados pizza house or zakios so if you're on the west coast and you want some um <laughs> i would just say uh clothing uh beach clothing mainly beach attire and stuff you can check out uh mike and as i said before it's called beauty on the beach all right now a reason for coming over here is we have not actually walked this area but i want to show you a place that's growing not only in expanding their options but also growing in their popularity and this is where our brother mr impact has his um food food truck and there are other options in here as well now years ago you will remember this is where the tennis court used to be for sandy beach hotel it is also where a very old plant a very old beach home um, was located however over the years that went to disrepair it was flattened for a long period of time and now rather than just sit here idle they're starting to utilize it for different things we're just taking a quick stroll down here so you see what the options are if you're interested mr impact plays live here every other thursday i'm not too sure when that starts as in i don't know if he played last week or if he's playing this Thursday, you can also check him out as well. He has all the information. His name is Anderson Ward. You can find him in our friends list, or you can find him if you do a little Google on him. You will see he is a veteran entertainer in this island. We call him the EMC. Um, what, what, what do we call Anderson again? I haven't used it for so long. Our, our master entertainer. Right, EMC master entertainer. And that's because Anderson does not just only sing well. His entertainment is amazing. He will take a crowd that's very quiet and laid back and peaceful and turn them into a bunch of rowdy people. He has that ability to do so. So just in front there, you will see his pack house. One of the most decorative food trucks in here. So this is where you can come. You can see they've laid down their artificial grass turf for you. But you can sit down up here and feel as though you're actually in a nice area in the countryside. And lots of seating in case there's rain and stuff. This whole area is the area that he takes care of. So again, I'm going to stop briefly on the side here. Let you take a note of the telephone number and of what he is offering. So if you want some sauce, you don't have to drive too far. If you're in the Worthing area, you can come right over here and get some sauce from him. Um, he likes to take away, he likes orders up front, etc. I'll take you over and let you have a little look at his menu as we are here already. Just so you can see what he does offer you. Here we go. So remember call for orders especially you want something specialty like lean and steam or something please give him a call as well we have island soup over here i just want to show them as well as i said this is a developing a developing location um there's still a lot more to go i'm sure 
but it's a cool hangout spot I've been through a couple of times haven't actually eaten here um, but they have been through a couple of times nice atmosphere night time really nice and cool as well they think can be a little bit hot to be honest with you because we're sort of like surrounded by structures and stuff so the wind blowing here is a little bit limited sometimes but as you can see there's a big tree just so I can show you a big tree a big mango tree over there lots of tenting so if you want to come and eat please come on down and enjoy this facility as well you know these are popping up all over the island first being the Worthing Food Court um, they're massive uh, an amazing amazing complex um, I've carried um, or I've been taken quite a few times by our star girl and I've also taken her once or twice as well um, we've had a fantastic time there always great even if there's no live entertainment they also have all music a lot of people just say well I'm not going to Worthing Food Court because you can't dance out there because it's a lot of loose rock and I don't want to fall down well no that has been taken care of they've paved the section for you um, where you can dance I've actually made a little dance a little dance stage um, very very nice I'm not taken away from here I'm just telling you what Worthing offers as well we have been you know spreading the love all around and the knowledge all around Kelly's Closet been through numerous changes over the years however Kelly's Closet has been there for some time I would say some of the best cotton products that you can find on the island notice I said some of the best I didn't say the best because I'm not going to try and defer you off anywhere else that may offer great products but Kelly's Closet for sure some of the lightest and some of the nicest products that you will find cotton wise on the island perfect for island style dressing as you can see it's extremely light very cool and comfortable um, this is also a place that will change your showroom windows every day so if you're passing around here today you do not see these here mannequins in the window please rather than look for the mannequins have a look up at the name Cle Kelly's Closet is right by the entrance to the Sands or the same Clifton Market we talked about but amazing products here for sure this has been all types of facilities over the years little restaurants etc this whole area has continuously changed over the years now the other day we brought you down here and Mary said oh I think it was Mary if I'm blaming Mary wrong Mary please correct it and say who we should blame but I think it was you you said it's a pharmacy Mary it is an aqua pharmacy meaning that anything that you need um, for the aquatic side of life you can get in here it used to be a pharmacy at one time but they've actually changed that now to make it a water-based pharmacy which is called an aqua pharmacy again you can take any information if you would like so if you leave home without a base suit and you're coming into Barbados you'll see next door Beauty on the Beach you want some inflatable toys etc you can come over here <laughs> so, I only wish the reflections here were showing everything but I know the most important thing is they're showing me hello good morning and how are you all I'm so handsome indeed so I noticed that you're having a very quiet morning have you been giving out strikes this morning um, just two just two that's a great thing you're doing such a fabulous job you know I, I have okay, to spell my name wrong too the spot your, who else spot, somebody else spelled your name wrong with another one N again you mean after it goes Jeanette two N's oh my goodness they need strikes for sure disgusting you can hear some parakeets going up there just in the distance they're quite popular or you see them a lot not popular we see a lot of them in the area where I live around um, Nelson Road Navy Gardens and stuff they actually breed in that area um, so you see tons of them out there if you want again another little clothing store here this used to be Chubby's video video no I, I was around the days of video or if I was it's I was very very young and I would probably not have realized what a video was because um, that went by the time it came wrong it was DVDs and stuff um, that will tell you that I was a 1971 child but you could see if you want some kids clothing and stuff you can get that here there's also another spa here as well this one I know for sure that our um, star girl and also our head cheerleader have used as well so if you hear a head cheerleader going in a spa you would know this is somewhere you can go and enjoy as well for sure and again this is all chubbies at one time very big chubbies was huge in the island just below is the shop smart express and also another location for you to get a bearing this is sort of like the end of the Worthing beach this goes through by Carl Sands Carl Sands being directly in front of us um, there is a the beach down there and that's where you come to the end and then you have to go through water to get down to the Catco bank section this facility here has as funny day it was built let's have a room our rentals available because I, I have never seen it here fully occupied um, I'm not too sure what they offer in there but as you can see from the show windows there are very few places that are actually opening at the moment or that are open um, I see a few of the names up and stuff but the show windows are blank 
But um, if you want to come down here, just take a little walk around in there, do a little gypsy and a militia in or nosy in, like our conductor or like our same star girl, and you will find out. Some say that's the best, uh, best chicken in the island. I do not know. Um, I have only eaten here a few times. I, I, I thought it was great, but I don't know about the best chicken in the island, but chicken barn. I know some people will only eat at chicken barn. You can get these outlets all over the island. There's also one um, just below the airport in the area where um, they have the medical facilities, uh, accommodations and stuff. Like, it's beautiful out here. But they also have a chicken outlet up there as well. So if you're at the airport, uh, and you don't want to eat at the airport, you want to go somewhere fairly close, just drive down the road and you can get your chicken barn over there and other things. Norm, good morning to you. My brother Norm and his family, Benoit, Louise, who's passed, uh, all of his family stay in this accommodation. This is Melrose, it's been wrong for a very long time, but there are people that come here every year. So if you're looking for accommodations, please book early or you won't find them. Access is to the beach down the same gap that we talked about just now by Carl Sands. And just above here is the Shop Smart Express. If you want anything at all from arranging anything you would need in necessities, as you can see, it's not a very large place, but it has all the necessities you could possibly want. All of their alcohol is stored as you walk in the door because they have a very, very, um, I would have to say, rich clientele like Simon Thompson. She comes in here all the time, so they said, well, we don't want to inconvenience Simon because she's such a lazy person. We don't want to make her walk to the back of the store. We will just put all the alcohol to the front. So they move the alcohol to the front of the store. So Simon, thank you for, um, on behalf of all the other people that they want to walk through the entire store just to get some alcohol. So they've done that for you especially. It's beautiful. Beautiful out here for sure. Lucky Horseshoe, 24 hour slots if you want. You can also get the restaurant food and stuff here. They're open 24 hours a day as I said. So slots available. They also carry some different games and sporting activities on your big screen TV. There's also another outlet of this as well in Warren's area. So if you're in that area, you're lucky horseshoe and enjoy it. Beautiful. This island, as I said, all these were all these were Barbadian privately owned beach homes originally. Um, we call them beach because you see it's just up here. None of these apartments that you're seeing on our left were here. None of these condos were here. So this is what was referred to as the beach home along with some of the others are over on our left side of course. You may remember here years ago it being the Barbados Roti Hut. The biggest and best rotis in Barbados. So that thing has changed as well now. It's a bank and other different condo opportunities if you're interested in investing or staying in this area as well. Do not get fooled by the lack of noise um, out here this morning. This is Highway 7. Everything is going to transform shortly. It's no quarter past 6. By 7, 7.15 out here is going to be bumper to bumper traffic going towards Bridge Town. Um, actually you'll find bumper to bumper traffic on Highway 7 all the time because it is so rough and holy that you have to drive slowly. Um, I once heard someone say, I uh, won't say who it was, that it's good to have holes in road because it actually slows people down. I'm not sure of that logic. <laughs> you know, it does slow people down but it makes them speed up when there are no holes. It also makes them shun holes and hit other vehicles coming the other way. So I'm not sure of the logic there. Alright, so over here, big insurance coming Sad score. Uh, this used to be where the Barbados ship or the ship in pub was years ago. I don't know how many of you remember that, but I remember sitting in the windows, which used to have the big push push out French jealousy style windows and enjoying myself in there. Now that's years ago. Um, it has changed tremendously. You will see these up, um, up and coming bigger. Uh, I how to say it, cooperate businesses in Barbados spreading out of Bridgetown area, Bridgetown now um, spreads right out to Warrens etc etc and this expands beyond that so most of the businesses have gone to all the different outlets now um, taking a lot of business, our original business from Bridgetown area if you want to get any of your photographic um, stuff done here as well this is photo finish, you can look them up as well they offer everything, passport, um, photos of cameras and phones, passports and visa photos etc so you can come here and get that if you would like. You can see, this is why I like the South Coast. It is not just because of the amazing beaches, but it's because of the infrastructure. You can find anything you want within a couple of hundred yards, basically. From Oystens right down to Bridgetown is what we call our action spot. So whatever you want, you can find in these general areas here. People say the Golden Mile, etc. A lot more than a mile for sure, but it is definitely a beautiful, beautiful location. This is why uh, the only place for me personally that can rival the South Coast is the actual Whole Town area because everything in Whole Town is compact as well. 
get supermarkets, restaurants, everything. So that is why you will find me going to the whole town area sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes um, against popular belief. I'm not there every day. Um, but I will go down to the whole town for sure because it has this type of atmosphere, exactly what I love. It doesn't have to do with only the beach as the coastline. The coastline works behind the beach as well, which is all here. All types of different little restaurants and bars pop up and down. If you will go back with me a little bit in time, and we had Steve's Disco here that then turned into Sean's Pool Hall. That was here years ago. I don't know if you remember two brothers. Steve opened it first at discotheque, then he moved up into the Welch's area in their Oystens, and then Sean opened up here as a pool hall. You also remember that as well. We want to take you back in time because a lot of people that have traveled to Barbados um, that have not been here for years. And if we touch your memories, we can bring them right here and let them be with us and let them feel and sense exactly what we're going through. This was a gas station for many, many years and just below was Goddard Supermarket. Um, that was, again, many years ago. It's been through many different changes. Trimart has had it open for numerous time, for a long time, though, I should say, not numerous time, but for a long time. That is another one of the rest, uh, one of the supermarkets on the island, Trimart. They also have uh, various outlets throughout the island. Um, please look up them if you would like. They offer, again, they offer everything you will want. Maybe not the high-end, high-end products you will find in like, say, Clifton Mart and stuff, but they will offer uh, anything that you would want. All types of, uh, not maybe not as big of a variety or of producers, but they offer whatever you desire. All right, we're gonna show you a little bit of something here now. Let's talk a little bit about it. We did talk with the supermarket here, got a supermarket. That closed those doors many years ago, they said. And I tried all the types of stuff there. Just over directly in the camera, where they food court. You've seen that before with us. We've taken you there. We've shown you um, what that is like. We've actually taken photos of every stall in there and put them up for you so you can see we have live vlogs. So please go on YouTube, put in where they food court and have a look and see what they offer. Any type of food that you want, they have in there. And if you don't find the food that they have in there, please sell it for something else because you have any type of food that you want in there. <laughs> Approximately a half a kilometer up over on the left you will find Massey supermarket that we refer to as Big B supermarket all the time uh, A very big chain in the island of Massey. You can find lots and lots of stuff there again um, So if you want to do some shopping that is my favorite supermarket I can pr produce my shopping list uh, off of the aisles and that's simply uh, Right now it's turned to cheese and vegetables and I'm gone. I don't like spending money as you all would know I'm cheap 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 actually when I say cheap 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 that refers to poor 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 But I don't say cheap 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 so it's fashionable Okay, now I know that we've talked about it before. I'm going to talk about it again. Hill Snacket. It was located where those cars are. There's the best cheeseburgers you could get in the island and some of the best soft serve. Originally, when the Vista was first opened, it opened numerous signs. Vista Cinema, that's just over there. It's now Judy Free Barbados. Um, that used to have shows. It was a cinema style show. Especially on weekends, you will find people coming over there, going into hills and getting cheese cutters and spending the entire night there with milk floats and stuff like that there. And then after hills closed down, everyone went to Shafet, then opened further on down into Rockley. Um, so this highway here used to turn into droves of people, looking like a mini Kaduman. As the shows would finish, the early show or the late show, you would find, especially the early show, you would find all the teenagers in Barbados and from all over the world that came to spend the night with the teenagers in Barbados, walking from here down to Shafet. That used to be a big, big party in those days. All right, first entrance to Katka Bank Beach. This is where we're going to end our vlog this morning. Just want to show you a little section of up here. I'm um, sure you a little bit of Barbados. I notice you haven't seen much of me. I've done that on purpose because I know you all really want to see me and I'm teasing you a little bit this morning. So I'll, I'll show you some of me in a little bit. But um, this is the entrance or the first entrance coming from the airport side um, to what is known as Catra Bank Beach. We call this Catra Bank Beach because of the hotel that was located down um, on the west side of the, the end west side of this beach here. Um, however, that's changed names over the years, um, but we still call it Catrobank Beach and it's referred to on the map as Worthing Beach. Worthing Beach actually stretches from the Sleuth Gate right down to Catrobank Beach Hotel, um, where it used to be before, and that's Blue Orchid, etc. You can see they have a beautiful little beach here. Certain times of the year you can find water coming up the wall as you see pretty much it is right now. Um, this is because the tide is high at the moment. Um, but sometimes a year you will find a, a quite a large beach here going down and at low tide you will also find here quite wide but most of the time it's not the best beach to come to um, as in if you want to put out your towel and tan and stuff because there's very limited areas to tan in 
All right, so when we were mentioning about the last the end of Worthing Beach, um, being just when we were showing you by coral sands, that would be up there by those coconut trees. Um, that's in drama just there in front of us, but beyond that is coral sands to tell. Um, but we see the first set, the first set of goings going out, the shorter one. Um, so that's where you would have to start of stop walking if you're coming down here, especially at high tide. Unless you have on some swim trunks or a bikini or something and you don't mind getting soaking wet and you don't have electrical equipment, you have to actually walk along the road to continue your walk on the south coast. When I do the walking of the south coast or the west coast, many of these points here, I time it so that we have a super low tide, which will be now around the low tide right now. However, I like it super low tide in the morning so it's not too hot. I usually start like two hours before the low and it gives me about a four hour span that I can make most of these points as well. So if you're going to walk the coastline of Barbados, remember number one, start early, don't do it in the middle of the day when it gets really hot. Number two is uh, make sure and carry all of your water requirements and some loose change in your pocket because you will never be able to carry too much water or enough water because it is extremely hot and the weight of water will slow you down and make you labor. So you want to carry some extra change with you and some clothes you can run into a quick place and get some water if you want. Many gas stations and convenience along the south west coast are a little more limited. Um, so please plan it well. Do not go in the middle of the day and think you're going to walk at 10 o'clock through to 2 o'clock. You will be hammered and you will be destroyed and you will lose a layer of skin. Um, make sure and do this here and time it well. Alright, so I know that you all have been waiting to see me. So I'm going to turn the camera here and let you see us. And I'm so happy to say that our star girl is really working well. She's been giving out strikes to people. And quite rightly so. Who is disgusting would go and put... Wait, I, I shouldn't say who is disgusting. Who is terrible that will go and put one end when she specifies her name, two ends. Whoever it is, shame, shame, shame on you. <laughs> your strike is just deserved. And you know, good morning again from us in Barbados. This is our version of, of awakening in Barbados. This is what we do every morning that we are out vlogging. And when we're not vlogging, we're still awakening in this beautiful island. We enjoy this beautiful island every second of every day. We hope you will as well. Remember, lying the beach is great. If that's what you enjoy and that's what you come to Barbados, please by all means continue to do it. However, if you've come to Barbados, say, well, you know, I'm feeling a little tired. You're just tired now. It's because it's not this island. This island has so much to be seen. You will never get in everywhere, no matter how you try it. You try it for years and years. There's still places that I haven't been, especially in the interior of the island. Um, I'm driven by them, but not actually being them. So Barbados is an adventure awaiting you. If you choose to land a beach, that's fine. But please don't say this island is tired because you are the one that stopped looking for the beauty and the fun to have in this island. Trust me, this island has way more than you can imagine. Is that not so? Way, way more. Uh, and you know, you all have a great day from our star girl, of course. My, I would have to say better half because I'm fearful of her sight. Uh, myself, we say bye to you for now. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week. Start off well, start with a smile, give somebody love. Be yourself. Don't anybody dictate who you are supposed to be. Then you are not free. You want to be free. Enjoy life. See you all later.